Hello, and welcome to the culmination of All Alien April, the event everyone online has been talking about. Um, some people online. I, okay, so no one, no one's talked about it online or cares about it, but I'm still doing it. That's right, throughout April, not every video, but most of my videos are alien-themed. Why? Because uh, I kind of felt like it. We did Monkey Madness March last year. Let's do All Aliens April, and maybe All Aliens August, because I'm having technical difficulties with some things, but we'll get on to that. Uh, never. I'm not going to mention it again. But today, as you can tell from the description, we have a collection of alien figures. So, recently, I was on a particular Mongolian basket weaving forum, and a thread popped up uh, on the toy board about alien uh, toys, and I was like, huh. I don't know if I've got many alien toys. I love aliens, and I looked into it, and it turns out I've got loads. So today, I'm going to show them off to you. Now, before we begin, there are some rules. Technically, Transformers are aliens. I'm not going to include those, though, because they're more robots. Also, I've got a shit ton of Star Wars figures. I'm not going to include those, because I'm probably going to do a Star Wars collection video, so I won't be putting any aliens from there in. But I am kind of aiming for things that look like aliens as well. Sure, Anakin Skywalker is an alien, I guess. Or, you know, there are sci-fi things where regular humans are technically alien because they're not from Earth. But I'm thinking more along the lines of this dude. Uh, he does actually kind of stand up, which is cool. So he is a plushie, uh, as you can tell, and I've had him since I was a child. Uh, first enamoured by the idea of aliens. I love the sort of bright green and the weird eyes. Um, this is like one of the traditional alien things, and this is what I'm kind of using as a basis. I've got some figures that might technically be aliens, but they're just dudes in armour or whatever. I'm not including those. They've got a look alien. They've got to look non-human to make this very exclusive list. Uh, so yeah, I thought I'd just show him off. The t-shirt does come off, actually. Uh, he has seen better days. I have washed him once or twice, but he's still, you know, he's still a little bit rough, but I like him. Anyway, I have split the categories uh, into four distinct regions. So, first up, we're going to cover British Aliens. So, chances are, if you are aware of any British culture uh, that isn't just Fish and Chips and the Beatles, you'll know about these dudes. Uh, this is actually the only version of a Dalek I own. It's weird, I've never thought about this before, but they're such iconic, uh, you know, like, villains from the Doctor Who series, just in case you are new to Daleks somehow. Um, but yeah, these are the only versions of Daleks I actually own. I should get a, a larger Dalek, like a 6-inch figure or something, because they are really cool. So we'll take a look. Um, the only difference between these two, obviously, is one's red and one is blue. Uh, these are given to me on my birthday years ago. I think they're from, like, Capsule Toys or something. Uh, they're very small, but, you know, they do the job. I really like Daleks. They are based off a salt and pepper shaker. According to official uh, BBC, like, uh, approved documentaries and stuff. They're pretty cool. Uh, they have changed their looks over the years and stuff. I think these are the newer ones from maybe the David Tennant era of Doctor Who. Uh, obviously, they, they started off looking a lot more basic and they've evolved. They've all, they always have new looks and stuff. I really like the Daleks, um, and the fun fact, in case you are new to Doctor Who, the aliens are technically weird, like, octopus creatures living deep within these machine bodies. So they are aliens in both senses. They're, you know, they are, like, weird-looking things, but they do have an alien life form that's non-human within them as well. And these are really cool. Um, I was really into Doctor Who for years. I've... I, I've I've kind of drifted away from it. I don't I don't care much for Doctor Who anymore, but I do have a few figures now. Unfortunately, I don't have many aliens actually, but one I do have is this dude. He is a Jadoon soldier. Um, so again, from the David Tennant era, you can really tell when I was super into Doctor Who. So this is an incomplete figure. Unfortunately, it is massive. I mean, that's my hand. It is like probably 10-12 inches, maybe. 
Um, so the original figure did come with a gun for the holster there and a helmet. Because originally when they appeared in the episode they appeared, it was just like a weird black helmet. And then they took it off. And they've got weird, like, rhino faces. Um, this is kind of a theme you will see with some aliens. Uh, they kind of like to take animal-headed humanoid <laughs> creatures. Um, but he has some incredible details on him. So this I saw in a second-hand shop. Uh, for I think it's like ten pounds or something, ridiculously good value. I don't know if he has any, you know, aftermarket value. Probably doesn't. He's got really cool goth boots as well. Uh, also articulated, which is nice. But unfortunately, he is super top heavy. So I usually display him kind of doing that where he's pointing at someone. Uh, please don't fall, or maybe you will. Maybe one day I'll be able to get a helmet and a gun and stuff. But yeah, he's a Jadoon. They are aliens from um, a different planet. I don't know why they look like rhinos. Well, they're kind of rhinos. They are, they're slightly different enough that they're mutant rhinos, basically. But yeah, um, this includes the Doctor Who segment. I literally have two things, unfortunately. Maybe I'll buy more in the future. But there is one more British alien thing that I happen to have a figure of, and that is... Qualtz, a Vogon from the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy movie. So, uh, technically the movie is American, I think. Or maybe it's British. I don't know who made it. But the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy is, regardless, a British series written by Douglas Adams, uh, adapted into a radio show, then a TV show by the BBC, and then into the 2000 and whatever it was, it'll be at the bottom here, uh, movie. And he is a Vogon, who are the race that blew up the Earth, basically, at the start of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. They're renowned for their horrible poetry and um, bureaucratic ways of living. He is an unpleasant creature. Good Christ. Uh, he, he wears, like, a weird sort of... Kind of a shirt and jacket and an under jumper and everything. He's got tiny pudgy legs. His arms are monstrously long. Uh, I love, I love Vorgons. So there is another Vorgon figure, actually. I am tempted to buy it just so I'd have the complete set of the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy movie Vorgons. Uh, because everybody is collecting those. Uh, yeah, he he's, uh, he's ugly. He is intentionally ugly. Uh, yet again, I bought this guy, I think, at like a second-hand shop for something like £5, which is incredible. I really like that movie. I know a lot of people didn't. Uh, I grew up reading The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy and uh, listened to the radio play. So for me, it's like, it's just kind of cool to have a physical representation of this guy. Um, you know, even though, <laughs> you, you know, he's kind of a villain, nobody likes him, he's very ugly. He's such a unique looking alien though. I, I really like him. Anyway, this concludes the British part of my video. Up next, we're flying uh, however many hundreds or thousands of miles over to the USA. I'd, uh, I'd play Surfing USA by the Beach Boys here, but uh, <laughs> this is on YouTube and I don't want my channel uh, deleted permanently. So, uh, first up is just going to be a really quick uh, view of something, and that is something I uncovered in my kind of storage for figures. That is an unopened Predator from Alien vs Predator Requiem. The worst sequel I have seen in quite some time. Uh, so, the reason I'm not opening him is I'm going to do a separate video for him, so look out for that. I will eventually get around to it, but he is specifically The Wolf, if, ever, if anyone remembers that movie. I sure as shit don't. Uh, I did not like it. I, I quite like the first Alien vs Predator, but yeah. Um, so he will be showing up on the channel uh, shortly, maybe, or, you know, eventually. Yeah, he's cool. I've always wanted a Predator figure. I love the Predator's armour design and stuff, so... Uh, Definitely, definitely a shoe in here, and I don't know why he didn't open it sooner. Anyway, it's time for some 90s nostalgia. It is Throttle from Biker Mice from Mars. Now, this is a series I have very, very vague memories of watching as a kid, but a friend, um, kind of family friend who is older than me, uh, gave me a basket of figures. 
and he happens he happened to be one of them um yeah i really like this figure so this is something i've had since a kid as well uh it's it's kind of a goofy concept to be honest now technically speaking he is a mouse man humanoid thing but he is literally from a series called biker mice from mars he's from mars i'm gonna accept it as an alien uh if you guys want to argue in the comments that would uh, that that would be very good for the algorithm, actually. So so argue away. Um, but yeah, he's he's a pretty standard '90s figure, really. His joints are a little bit tough because I haven't you know moved or played with him since he was a child. But uh, his antennas go down, which is weird. I don't know if that was a, like a, a thing in the show or whatever. But he is pretty cool. He's a cool. Uh, Mouse with attitude. He's got a moving tail here as well. Uh, yeah, he's pretty cool. He is really buff and really hench for some reason. His shoulders are way wider than his hips. But again, this is a 90s action figure, so that's how it is. He's got some cool shades, and he's a mouse. Um, I don't know if he's like the main guy, or if he's just one of them, or whatever. Again, I don't know. Let me know in the comments below if you're a biker mice from Mars. Fan, man. If it's all on YouTube, I'm kind of tempted to give it a watch. Um, I do have some street. Uh, I do have a street shark figure as well. Street sharks aren't uh, aliens, though. I don't think, unless I've misunderstood that. Anyway, on to another American alien. All right, it's time for a double dose of kind of nostalgia, I guess. It is time for a Happy Meals toy and also a Lilo and Stitch figure. Uh, so, I love Lilo and Stitch. It is, it's an incredible uh, movie series, I guess. Uh, I remember the first and the second one more than the others. But this is Jumba Jukiba. Um, he was, he's the guy that kind of lives with them. He, I think he worked on Experiment 626, right? I think he created Stitch or helped create Stitch, I can't remember. But he's kind of one of the good guys, he's a lovable dude, he's got a gun here, and his McDonald's gimmick uh, was that, so he kind of moves there, um, and you fill him with water, I believe, there's like a hole on his head or something, and then that would shoot water uh, out. I do, I do kind of like, honestly, it looks like, you know, he's kind of aiming up, you know, so sort of, when I played this as a kid, it was cool because, you know, someone would be up above him and he's like, ha, poof, and they die, uh, and stuff like that. But yeah, I really like Jumba. Um, this is another, man, back when McDonald's used to make toys, like actual toys. Also, so I used Google Lens to look up a lot of these because I couldn't remember his name. And this is kind of worth quite a bit. Now this is like 20 to 30 pounds. This is literally just something you got in a Happy Meal, uh, which I was very happy with. I, I love the alien design from Lilo and Stitch. And talking about that, there's another guy. This is Captain Gantu. Uh, so again, Lilo and Stitch, he is uh, one of the, like, the enforcers of the bad guy coming to uh, get Stitch from Earth. And he, he's, he kind of turns a little bit good as a lot of, you know, Disney sort of villains do. He's kind of a, a shock, muscular dude. I always loved uh, his his design. He was really cool. It's a shame he is literally a moulded hunk of plastic. No. Oh. Wow, I've clearly not... <laughs> okay, I've not done a massive amount of um, uh, preparation for this. I forgot his arms moved. His arms move! Kind of. I mean, it's in unison. It's not very far, but still, that that's kind of cool. He's very shiny, um, but that's plastic for you. And his gimmick, I think, was this thing here. I think you, like, slotted in a disc. I have long since lost that disc. But, as you can hear, it clicks. And I think once it clicks at the back, it would shoot the disc out from his abdomen. I don't know why. I don't think that ever happened in the movie, did it? I think he just had like guns or he was really strong or something. I don't think he shot anything from his stomach. But regardless, these are pretty cool. I don't think they scale very well. I'm pretty sure in the movie Gantu was like huge and he he's kind of smaller but fat basically. 
But still, these are two pretty prized parts of my figure collection. Uh, I don't even know if they did do Lilo and Stitch action figures, to be honest. I mean, this is this is all I needed as a kid, and all I need now, because I, I'm, you know, I don't really need the Lone Stitch uh, action figures. And there is one more American alien. That is Human Bill from Fortnite. Um, yeah, I, I so if you watch my channel, you'll know that about two, three weeks ago, I reviewed this guy, so I'm not going to go into detail. Uh, but he's a really cool guy. He, um, you know, he he's pausable and everything. He is really fun to play with. I have found myself posing him in different things. I think this is quite a cool setup because he's got his harvesting tool that says believe, but it also kind of looks like he's just chilling in his mothership. Uh, and the UFO does pivot and stuff, which is cool as well. But yeah, I, I really like Human Bill, um, hence why I bought the figure. Right, that wraps up the US. Let's take a trip now to Japan. All of the Japanese aliens I have are actually from the very same series, so if you recognise one, you'll probably recognise the rest. Um, but I did see in the thread I mentioned about aliens, there are a line of small gacha um, kind of figures, I think from the 90s or early 2000s, called Choco Vedas, which came in chocolate eggs, and they're really, really cool, so like classic sci-fi designed aliens and UFOs. I'm going to try and get my hands on some of those, but eBay prices are insane. There's like £60 for genuinely just one tiny alien. I'm, I'm not paying that. But if I do ever get my hands on stuff, I will be showing you guys, of course. So it's time to introduce the first of these figures. And that is Jackal from Dragon Ball Super. Uh, so this is part of the World Collection figures, uh, which are, you know, kind of small little figures that I've kind of got a little bit addicted to, to be honest, but I have a specific aim in mind for collecting these, and that is aliens, actually. Just because I like the humans from Dragon Ball, obviously. I don't think they suit the chibi style quite as good. They do just look like chibi humans, and eh, it doesn't work. But with aliens, I don't know, especially like Jackal and the other upcoming ones, I think it works pretty well. So I'm going to put them to the side there, because there will be quite a few. And next up, another one from Dragon Ball Super is Hit, the Assassin. Um, I don't know if he's ever revealed what his race is called or anything. He's kind of a mysterious dude. Uh, but he was definitely one of my favourite characters from Dragon Ball Super. He's, uh, he, he's, pretty, he's pretty bland in terms of his stance. He has just stood there menacingly. But I really like Hit. He's, uh, he's a cool dude. And he's in uh, Dragon Ball Fighter Z, which I haven't played yet, but, you know, he looks pretty fun. So, the rest of them have a very, very strong theme. As you will see, first up is Third Form Freezer. So, this is just before he goes to his uh, final form. And it's clearly inspired by a xenomorph. I mean, look at that head. That is literally a xenomorph from the Alien movies. Uh, I, th I think Akira Toriyama himself has even said. Uh, I don't know if his tail got chopped off. I can't remember in the fight. I know his tail does get sliced off. I swear that's Final Form Freezer. But yeah, he's really cool. He is the bulkiest World Collection figure I own. Uh, I love the pose as well. He's kind of giving you the double finger guns. But yeah, he is really cool. I've not found First or Second Form Freezer yet. Uh, but when I do, I will be getting them, because obviously I'd like the lineup. Uh, and I don't really have Final Form Freezer exactly. The closest thing I have is a odd business suit version of Mecha Freezer, uh, when he was resurrected by his father. Um, and, I mean, this is obviously either based off like a spin-off thing, or... Uh, a one-shot manga or something, I, I had to get this. When I saw it, I was like, that is incredible. Uh, I don't have Mecha Freezer at all. Yeah, oh, he's got Mecha feet as well. That's cool. Um, and him in a business suit is just strange. I think the base means this is like a limited or like side set or something. The rest are like red-based. 
so I don't exactly know where that is, but yeah, he's very cool. Next up, we have Golden Freezer. Uh, so this is uh, the one that appeared in Resurrection F and the Starter Dragon Ball Super, I suppose. This is Freezer when he decides to actually, uh, you know, apply himself and train. And he turns very gold, very angry, and there's even like anger stress marks, as you can see on his uh, on his head there. He, he's a really cool one as well. Next up, we have Frost from Dragon Ball Super. He is the uh, Universe 6 version of Freezer, I do believe, uh, down to the fact that he is also very manipulative and stuff. This is Final Form Frost, I do believe. Although, I can't remember if we see Base Form Frost. I think he's always in his Final Form. But he does look like Final Form Freezer, basically. He's just an alternate universe version of him. I like Frost. He's cool. He didn't get to do much in Super, to be honest, apart from betray people, I guess. But, you know, I, I like him. I, I'm a sucker for the Freezer race. Uh, I think they've just got a really cool design. Uh, you know, so I had to pick him up when I saw him. And of course, there is Kula, or Kura, uh, Freezer's unofficial brother, who appeared in the uh, Kula and Return of Kula movies. He's pretty cool as well. Uh, much like Frost, actually, I don't think you ever see him in any form that isn't this, which technically so should be his final form, but it's not. And I may have something coming up in a second to show you what that is. He's pretty cool. He's got slightly different colourings and stuff from his brother. He's obviously very strong. And when he powers up, he turns into Final Form Cooler. Uh, so this is a Dragon Heroes figure. Obviously, as you can tell, he's not a static thing. Uh, this is really cool. So the reason I bought this is because I love his design and there wasn't an SH Figure Arts version of him. So I bought this and like a month later, they announced an SH Figure Arts version of him. I thought, well, he, he's pretty perfect. Now, I do have a review of him up as well. I did, like, two or three years ago, I think. Uh, he is a very cool figure. I'll give you a quick rundown. If you do want to see uh, everything about him, though, I will leave a link to that in the description below, maybe. He's got, like, a segmented tail and stuff, so you can kind of alter that. He's obviously posable. I keep him in this pose. I think he has other hands as well that he can uh, change out because I've got one open palm and one closed. He's just a really cool figure. Honestly, I love the like spikes and stuff um, and his weird like face guard and everything. Like Final Form Cooler, I think is cooler than Final Form Freezer. That was, that was a mouthful. But yeah, he's just really cool. He's got his cool like Freezer's race armor. I think it's called Freezer's race is the official race. I don't know, but yeah. He's pretty cool. Um, and this wraps up my Aliens of Japan. Next up, we have Aliens of... Question mark. Alright, so this segment sounds very mysterious. Uh, and it kind of is, I guess, mysterious. So, I have three other alien figures that I've had since a child. And I don't know what they are. Or where they're from. All I know is I bought them when I was a child, or well, rather my parents bought them, so it must have been, I don't know, I, I wouldn't have gotten them when I was super young, so probably something like 1996 until like maybe 2002, maybe 2000. So the first, uh, the first two are from a double pack, I'm assuming I bought, uh, and that is these two, I'm going to try and balance them. There we go. That's a bad angle. Um, so their feet, unfortunately, do mean they rock quite a bit, and I think their hip joints are a little bit weird as well. So, these, I think, I'm pretty sure, are just generic aliens or alien fighters or something. Uh, they definitely came in a two-pack, and I think they had weapons as well. As you can tell from their hands, they can hold stuff. I've probably still got the weapons somewhere, but I can't remember what they are, what they looked like. I think they were just guns. Um, but yeah, these are really fascinating, because they kind of have the standard alien look. I mean, to bring back the plush for a second, it's kind of... Ooh, sorry. They've kind of got that look, but it's more refined. Now, 
I've tried using Google Lens and nothing comes up for either of these. I thought maybe one colour would be more identifiable. Nothing. Um, I tried searching on eBay for Alien action figure. Unfortunately, the Alien movie franchise has a lot of action figures and everything is a xenomorph. It, you would be very hard pressed to find Alien action figures on eBay that aren't from the Alien movies or toy line. But these are really cool. I really like them. Their armour is a little bit like, um, it's not symmetrical. It's, they've got like a weird pauldron there, but then like a spiky pauldron there. It's got like a weird chest thing and a belt, but, and feet, or boots rather. Um, and yeah, they're just, they're just really cool. I really like them. And the silver one is my favourite, I think. Because whilst the tan guy is interesting, the silver one is just like, he's clearly the evil one. So I don't know if this is like a weird Power Rangers knockoff kind of thing, maybe? These were like alien battling rangers and maybe there was like different colours of them or something? If anybody recognises these, please let me know in the comments below because I, if there's more of them, I would definitely go out and buy some more. Uh, assuming they're not scalped to hell and it's like £300 or something. But yeah, they're just really cool. They're um, they're nice little figures. They're, they're five points of articulation. Uh, actually, they, they've got like chest pivot as well, so that is that's six. Good heavens, these were ahead of their time. But yeah, I might post, I think there's like a subreddit for what is this toy or something. I might post pictures of these dudes because I'd love to find out more about them. And, I mean, they may be from a, a line of toys, but in the thread I posted some pictures of these. Um, and no one recognised them, so I don't know. They're probably just cheap, generic alien things. Which is also the description for this dude. He... Man, this was a weird figure when I was a kid. So, again, I think my parents bought me this because I really liked aliens. He genuinely scared me for years. Just look at that face, man. That is uncanny valley. That's like, it's almost a little bit human, but a little bit reptilian, but also a little bit different as well. Uh, so he's got, I think, four points. Yeah, his head doesn't move. And his legs kind of move, but you can make him sit down, I guess. Uh, now, his gimmick, as he might have worked out, is this belly button here. Sadly, the batteries are all gone. But back when it used to work, his eyes would light up red and he'd make like noises. Like just generic weird alien noises. Now, I might try and get a replacement battery and fix him. If I do, keep an eye out for my social media because I might post a video of him. Um, and he, again, is a figure that I tried using Google Lens for. And couldn't find anything. Uh, nobody knew, well, uh, rather, it showed me nothing. The nearest I got, there was a Beetleborgs dude, but he's a mummy. And I think it saw, like, this thing here and thought it was wrapped bandages. But I don't think he's from Beetleborgs. He, he's just weird. Like, I love his face. He is, uh, he's lanky. He's, like, the right level of disturbing alien man. And, like, he is the pinnacle, for me, of alien figures. And it's such a shame that the alien franchise takes up so much space on eBay. Because I'd love to buy more weird, generic alien figures like him. Uh, much like the other two as well. I'm pretty sure he was just called, like, Alien Monster. Or something like that. And, again, probably bought between, like, 96 and 2000 or something. So yet again, if you happen to be watching this and have one of these or know what it's called, please let me know in the comments. I I will I will give you a shout out. Uh, I don't think I can pin your comment. I think I don't have enough subscribers for that. But I'll definitely uh, be forever grateful to you. And that about wraps it up. Uh, that is all the aliens I have for you for now. I say for now because this has really got me going down a rabbit hole of alien figures now. So maybe in the future I may do a part two of this if I buy enough alien figures and if I find out the identities of these dudes. That would be very cool as well. Um, or if I find other stuff in storage, but as I say, most of the other stuff I've got Transformers or Star Wars and they're going to have their own videos anyway, so I'm not going to lump them in with this. 
So, thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, this has yet again been another Imminent Collections video where I just gush about stuff I loved that, you know, inspired me since I was a child and I still have in my collection. Uh, I think I did get rid of one or two alien figures. I know I had one that looked a little bit like him but was taller and like hollow P PVC plastic. He could raise his arms and he had like a weird cloak, um, but I got rid of him for some reason and I really regret it now. But if you do know of other cool uh, alien figures, now there is like an articulated version of him I've seen, like the Stranger of the Universe or something. Unfortunately at the moment the only place I can find to buy it is in the US. And shipping from the US is like half of the cost of the figure itself. So I'm kind of weighing up whether it's even worth it at the moment. But anyway, I'm rambling now, I'll let you get on. Um, I will leave a playlist to my other imminent collection videos here and I'll leave YouTube think up a random video there. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching and until next time... Believe.